Ong Ong, hello, hello. I'm the daughter of the late Maria Shaishnikov. My mother was Aleut, originally from St. Paul Island. And I'm the daughter of the late Juan Duenas Leon Guerrero. My father was Chamorro from the island of Guam. In 2006, I worked for the Aleutian Pribilof Islands Association. I began working for them many years prior. I started off as a file clerk while I was working on my undergraduate degree here at UAA. By the time I resigned from the association, I was the wellness program director. And truly, it was a career of a lifetime. I was having so much fun. I was traveling to the region. I was creating meaningful relationships. And I was conducting community outreach. I actually had no intention of going back to college, much less pursuing a PhD. I found myself in a little bit of conflict. What can I do with a PhD when I'm done with this training? So I asked one of the faculty members, I said, what can I do with this degree that I'm not already doing without the degree serving my people? And I'll never forget what she said. She said, Tina, when you're done with this training, you will be like a kid in a candy store. You will be able to serve all Alaska Native people statewide. You will be able to do this in a culturally responsive manner and you will be able to pick and you will be picked. So I wanna share my journey with you. I wanna share with you how I got to where I'm at today. It started off in the beautiful Sitka, Alaska. I was there presenting at a conference and it was a conference around elders and I was presenting on a culturally responsive assisted living home. I happened to bump into one of my undergrad professors who was also presenting. She didn't remember me, but I remembered her. So I approached her and introduced myself. And she began to tell me about a new PhD program that UAA had in psychology. And she encouraged me to consider it. And I impulsively said, I don't think so. I don't plan on going back to school. She continued to tell me more about the program. And she told me the title, Clinical Community Psychology with the Rural Indigenous Emphasis. At that moment, my heart started racing. I got so excited about the possibilities. That afternoon at the hotel, I began to research it, to learn more about it. I even called my family, and I said, if I get into this program, will you help me raise Jasmine? My daughter was a little girl. She's a freshman in college now. Of course, they said yes. That evening at the airport, ironically, I overheard a conversation. It was the clinical director of the program. She happened to be traveling on a recruitment. I introduced myself. That evening on the plane, I began writing my essay, trying to convince them why they should pick me. I'm not gonna lie. It was brutal, hard, hard work. College is hard. I found myself in the middle of heavy coursework. My self-care really lacked. I had poor sleep hygiene. I was not eating anywhere but from the vending machines during the day, and I had limited exercise. All of this in a very stressful situation, I found myself to be a ball of emotions and wanting to quit often. One day, I had a difficult dialogue in the classroom, and I abruptly quit, and I withdrew from all my classes. I actually didn't feel supported. When I think about it, I did have support, but I didn't know how to ask for it. I found myself sobbing in my dissertation chair's office, telling him how I didn't fit in at UAA, telling him how it, I just didn't feel like my Western training matched with me as an Alaska Native person. And I'll never forget what he said. He said, Tina, you have to finish your education. Because when you're done, you can do things your way for your people. So I have to admit, in hindsight, it was one of the best programs I could have ever stumbled onto. At the start of my training, they gathered all the students together with a cohort of teaching elders. They became our mentors throughout our journey. These elders taught us indigenous practice as we were learning Western science. Together, 
this is a very powerful tool for healing our people. It wasn't all downhill from there. I still wanted to quit, but this time I had a quit date and I didn't tell anyone. My son is actually here today, he's eight years old. He was in my belly and I was walking across the stage during my hooding ceremony for my master's degree. And I had a secret. My secret was as I was quitting after I got that diploma. As it turns out, the creator had different plans for me. A few days later, I woke up on match day Match day is a day when you discover where you're going for your pre-doc internship if you're picked. It just so happens my first pick picked me. Here I was heading back to the beautiful Sitka, Alaska where it all started. To me it was a sign. I'm so glad I finished. I'm a different person professionally and personally. Education is very powerful. Education is what helped me heal from an extensive history of trauma. My husband's in college, my daughter's in college, and my eight-year-old talks about college. I stay connected to the university and I mentor students who are interested in the program and higher education in general. I'm on the UAA Psych Advisory for Psychology and the Cultural Advisory Committee. We hire students from this program because we believe in the training that they receive. And today, I am the Senior Director of Community Health Services at the Alaska Native Tribal Health Consortium, where I get to work with a dynamic group of individuals who are conducting culturally responsive training, education, technical assistance, and promoting health equity across the lifespan so we can meet our vision that Alaska Native people are the healthiest people in the world. I want to say thank you Thank you to UAA. Thank you for the educational journey that I've been given here. Thank you to those who really championed me and cared about me and continue to hold me up. Dr. DeVitt, Dr. Petratus, Dr. Lampman. I'm so appreciative. And to Dr. Rita Blumenstein, one of our teaching elders, who always said, Tina, you started this, so you finish it. And that I did. And I want to end with a quote from her, and that is, when you heal yourself, you heal your ancestors, and you heal your future generations. Thank you.